Never one to back down from a challenge, Ida Isley is here to share a story about mental toughness and building new habits. Here's Ida Isley with Challenge Accepted. Sometime during the early days of 2020, I came across a social media post about a new challenge called 75 Hard. Andy Frazella created and completed the challenge to build mental toughness in his personal life. He then talked about the experience on his podcast. And just a warning, this podcast is extremely bro-y. The rules of the challenge are, follow the program every day exactly as stated. Complete two 45-minute workouts. One workout must be outdoors. Follow a diet. No cheat meals, no alcohol. Drink one gallon of water a day. Read 10 pages of nonfiction. Audiobooks do not count and take a progress photo. If you fail, you must start over at day one. Andy Frazella made sure to point out all of the reasons why people would not be able to complete 75 hard. Challenge accepted. I convinced my husband Jacob to participate and we started making a plan. Then we found ourselves in the middle of a pandemic and went into survival mode for the next several months. By the end of April, we had binged all of Tiger King, done multiple house projects, and organized all of the things that needed to be organized. And it looked like it was going to be a long summer, so we decided to start 75 Hard in the beginning of May. Lifting weights, walking, or doing yoga at 5.30 a.m. is not my ideal morning. I'm still not a morning person, but it did get easier. The outdoor workout was usually an evening bike ride. We biked when it was 54 degrees and rainy and when it was 100 degrees and windy. I honestly don't know which was worse. Knowing that we wouldn't have time to plan or prepare complicated meals, we kept our diet pretty simple. No gluten and no added sugar. Following this diet during a non-pandemic year would have been a lot more difficult, but since we ate every meal at home, we had no problem sticking to the plan. Drinking an entire gallon of water a day, that's a lot of water, like a lot. You have to use the bathroom at least every 20 minutes. But on the plus side, I did feel very hydrated and my skin was almost flawless. You also want to make sure that you drink all of the water by 6 p.m. so you get a good night's sleep with no interruptions. <laughs> no alcohol for 75 days in 2020? What were we thinking? Fortunately, there are quite a few non-alcoholic spirits that make tasty mocktails. Monday Gin added botanical flavors to this strawberry lemonade. We also tried a non-alcoholic wine to celebrate Jacob's birthday. My 15-minute morning break at work was the perfect time to squeeze in the 10 pages of reading. It forced me to actually take my breaks instead of working through them, and it often gave me something interesting to think about for the rest of the day. A few of my favorite reads were Lean In by Sheryl Sandberg and Leaders Eat Last by Simon Sinek. Progress photos. We did take them every day, but I'm only going to show you the last one. Here it is. We made it. Day 75 of 75. We felt accomplished, resilient, and like we were ready to conquer the world. I took a rest day that turned into a rest week and then rest months. So had I gained mental toughness through the throughout the process? Hmm. In late fall, while talking with a few friends, we decided we all needed some motivation and goals to get us through the winter. We came up with what we called 75 medium. Instead of mental toughness, the focus of this challenge was to create lasting habits that would continue past the 75 days. 75 medium, do one 45 minute workout, spend 45 minutes developing a hobby or skill, follow a diet for at least four days of the week, drink 64 ounces of water, read 10 pages of nonfiction, and set a weekly alcoholic drink limit. 75 Medium started on November 9. I chose to do most of my 45 minute workouts outside even though it wasn't required, but the weather was still quite pleasant. On colder days, I opted for an inside yoga class. In case you didn't know, YouTube has a lot of decent options for beginner yoga classes. Crocheting is something I've always wanted to learn how to do, so I ordered some supplies and started crocheting. Again, there are quite a number of beginner-friendly crochet tutorials on YouTube. I did take a part and start over a lot of projects, but I also completed a few of them. I find crocheting to be very therapeutic.
I repeated the no added sugar, no gluten diet from 75 hard, but also added no dairy for the first four days of every week. And the official end of 75 medium was last Saturday. Some of us did take a rest day, but the majority of our habits did seem to stick. A few things that helped me complete 75 hard and 75 medium. There's never a perfect time to start a 75 day challenge, but don't set yourself up for failure. You need a plan. What diet are you going to follow? What exercises will you do? What book will you read first? Do you have a way to measure your water intake? A tracking sheet or app that helps you remember to com complete all of the steps every day. In the beginning, it's encouraging to see how many days you've completed, and then you get through the first month. Make it to the halfway point, and then you can start counting down the days to the end of the challenge. Accountability is key. Convince a family member or friend to join you. You need someone who's going to tell you to keep going when you want to give up but also someone who understands just how tired you are and what it feels like to drink a gallon of water every day. And lastly, don't give up. If I can do it, you can too. <clears throat> there were a lot of benefits from completing the challenges. Better time management, less hesitation when making difficult decisions, and believing in myself. And thanks to all of the yoga, I can finally touch my toes. I've already started planning my next 75 day challenge and hope to start it soon. I'm encouraging all of you to create and complete your own 75 day challenge. It doesn't have to look like mine or anyone else's. Set attainable goals and give it your best. The worst that can happen is you fail and you get to start over on day one. <laughs>